uh, I think it's becoming more and more clear for all of us that this is going to affect uh, not only our children's life but even our own life and uh, when we are threatened ourselves we start maybe to act more and that's uh, uh, my reason for optimism and we know that we have the technologies everything from renewable energy efficiency carbon capture and storage lot of different technologies we have to make use of them now I think that a good deal in Copenhagen will create millions of new green jobs I think that it's possible to employ billions of people in producing, for example, biomass for food and feed and energy. It's possible to create a new economy. And I'm not afraid of the economic consequences of, of uh, uh, taking action to, uh, on global warming. I'm afraid of the economic consequences not doing it. Uh, I'm afraid it will not be enough, but it will be extremely much better than nothing. And I hope that it, this will create a frame for the next coming years to really make action. Uh, but I think we need to realize that Copenhagen is just the beginning and not the end of this fight. And I'm quite optimistic, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be questions about financing, uh, distribution of technologies, and money for adaptation. So it's going to be a, a tough struggle, but we have to win.